Hi guys, if you're new here, welcome. I'm Missy, and if you're returning, welcome back. Uh, today, I'm wearing my Jeffree Star uh, merch, including the necklace here, um, because I'm going to unbox the Jeffree Star Halloween mystery boxes from 2023. I did get both. We're going to start with the Deluxe. And this was $70 with a $283 value. Uh, you are to get 13 items in the deluxe. So let's just start with it. So this is what the box looks like. Nice purple and black. Very Halloween spooky-esque with the Jeffree Star logo and the mystery question marks. It does come wrapped up. Got a little postcard in here from the Gothic Beach collection. Okay. Alright, so let's just set it down and start pulling some items out. Alright, so the first couple items I see in here are these single shadows. Uh, I don't really care for these, and we just keep getting them in every single mystery box now. So this first one is Glamour Shot. Next one is Grand Prismatic. Not sure which one that palette, which uh, palette this one's from. Then we have Fresh Meat. Crocodile Tears, Persuasion, and Sugar Cane. And like I said, I don't really keep those. I put those up for uh, sale on my Poshmark or I give them away. Alright, so next in here we have a Velvet Trap in the shade Grave Digger. And it's just a gray lipstick. Pretty sure I already got this in previous box in the past. I'll have to look and see, but I'm, I'm pretty sure. All right, so there's that item. Okay, so next in here looks like we got some full size liquid lips. We got Leo. We got Leo, we got Deceased, and of course, we got Red Rum. This one ends up in every single Halloween mystery box. All right, I do like Jeffree's Liquid Lip Formula, and mine are getting a little older, so it is time for me to kind of switch them out. Okay, so next in here, we have, looks like, two little mini liquid lipsticks. And I, I'm thinking these are, like, exclusive to the box, at least for now. Um, so we have Spooky Makeover. So we have Spooky Makeover. We have Wrong Turn. Um, I don't know how I feel about this because in the past we got full size liquid lips for exclusives, not minis. And he's been doing these minis a lot. And my problem with the minis is they dry out quicker. I'll open those in a little bit and I'll uh, swatch them for you guys so you can see what they look like. Let's finish opening up in here. Okay, so we got the Weirdo palette. I've gotten so many of these so far. That's the problem when you already own Jeffree Star stuff is a lot of times these mystery boxes you get the same things over and over. Um, okay. Next we have a mascara. This is the Jeffree Star approved mascara. And this is in the black. I do like the mascaras. 
So I am happy to get that because I can always use mascara. Okay. Next, looks like we've got an eye gloss. I only have like two of his eye glosses. Uh, this one is in Black Onyx. This one is in Black Onyx. So let's see what that one looks like. Oh, they're taped. Let me cut the box. I will say his eye glosses are very sparkly. Um, I recommend not doing your face before you put them on because they, they tend to have fallout. But they are pretty. And they come with a little stopper. So it's just like a spark, sparkly black shadow. All right, so it'll be nice to try. Okay. So next in here, looks like we have another eye gloss in the shade Crystal Joint. In the shade Crystal Joint. And cut the box open here. what it looks like. Well, that one looks like it's going to be pretty. Alright, so again comes with a stopper. And it's just like a sparkly white shimmer. These are going to be pretty to try. These kind of remind me of ColourPop Super Shock shadows, but not as creamy as some of ColourPop Super Shocks. All right, what else do we have in here? Looks like we have two more things, and I believe these are exclusive to the box. So we have some um, Jeffree Star tube socks. <laughs> not really my thing. Um, I mean, I guess I could wear them around the house or something, keep my feet warm. But yeah, not not really my thing. All right. So then the last thing in here, I am not sure what it is. Okay, this is different. All right. So it looks to be a bag, but it is like a his uh, meat cleaver, like his mirrors, but it is a, it's a little like coin purse type thing. Um, I mean, it's cute. It's kitschy. I, I like the idea of it. Okay. So I'm guessing it's supposed to be a wristlet, wristlet for like, you know, just wearing around your wrist and carrying it like this. Um, I don't know how I feel about going somewhere and like carrying this around like that. That might get you some attention, I guess. But I mean, if you're going to like a Halloween event or something, yeah, it's kind of cool. So, all right, let's go back over everything that came in. Let's go back over everything that came in the deluxe box. We got the exclusive socks to the box. I'm assuming it's ex exclusive. We got the exclusive little bag. We got two eye glosses in Crystal Joint and Black Onyx. We got three liquid lipsticks in Red Rum, Leo, and Deceased. We got a Velvet Trap in Grave Digger. We got a Weirdo mini palette. We got two little uh, mini liquid lipsticks in Spooky Makeover 
and wrong turn, which I'm assuming is exclusive to this box. And then we got six of the single shadows. So that brings us to six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so the, I don't think the single shadows counts as um, six items. So let me count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, because I forgot the mascara. And then the single shadows counts as one item, so thirteen items total. All right, so... I'm happier than I was the last time I got mixed mystery boxes because I did get some things that I did not have. I feel like the exclusive items, though, are just kind of getting random on what they are, and I'm not a fan of that. I used to be excited for the exclusives, but I don't know. Socks and a little small knife-shaped wristlet and too many liquid lipsticks. Not really something that I'm super excited for. But, yeah, I'd say I'm probably only going to keep maybe about a quarter of the stuff in this box. But anyway, let's move on to the next box. Alright, so the next box is the Supreme box. And it retailed for $120. And it's supposed to have a value of $465 according to the website. And there are 15 items in here. Um, I will go back with editing and I will add up the best I can the amount of how much each item is. It's a little harder when there's exclusives and add up to see if the boxes are worth what they are. All right, so let's get started on the Supreme here. And this one's kind of heavy. It's a lot longer and bigger than the Deluxe. And you have the, it's the red and kind of the burgundy-ish with the Jeffree Star logo and the mystery question marks. Alright, so everything always comes nicely bubble wrapped. I will give it that. Alright, so, first things first. Again, just like the last several boxes we've got single shadows and there's even more in this one there's there's eight in this one so let's just see what colors we got we got scene queen we got winter wind We got open range. Obituary. Heavy weighted. Only child. Wyoming. and bubble gum. All right, so moving on from those, we got two velvet traps in here. We have Red Affair, which I know I have previously gotten. It's just a nice red lipstick. The other velvet trap is Communion Wine. I believe this was part of the Pink Religion collection. Oh, well, that's a nice, pretty dark brown, though. Okay. So we 
got those. Okay. And then we have a mini liquid lipstick threesome trio. This is, excuse me, Heart Rate, Forbidden Fruit, and Misery. Um, I feel like I've already gotten this or I've got full size versions of some of these. I'll have to look and see because I'm not sure. Alright, so we got that. Then it looks like we've got two mini liquid lips. And I think these are exclusive to the box because these are new names. Malicious Kisses and Halloween Nudity are the names of those. Okay. All right, next in here, we have this I'm actually kind of excited for because I have not got to try this formula. This is a liquid star shadow in the shade Star Vortex. And it looks to be like this dark, dark purple with like a blue shift to it. So it looks kind of pretty. So I'm excited to try that. All right, next up in here is it looks like be another exclusive in the box. This is a Skin Frost highlighting blush. So this is a uh, newer formula because he hasn't done highlighting blush as far as I know. This is the shade Icy, Execu <laughs> Icy Execution. So let's open it up and see what it looks like. And his Skin Frost formula is my favorite formula. So I'm glad that he did that. Oh, okay, that's kind of cool. So that's what it looks like. His Jeffree Star logo and nice like blood splatter look. So I'm guessing because it's called a highlighting blush, I'm guessing if you dip into these areas, it's gonna be a pinky reddish tone. And then you can just like, if you just want to highlight, you could dip in this area. So this, I, I like that. That's kind of cool. All right, let's move on. Okay, so we have, looks like a F-proof mascara in here in the shade Periwinkle Sprinkle. Um, I'm not really someone who does like colored mascara, but I'm glad I got this color because I've heard it looks really pretty when you just like want to pop a color on your lower lash. So yeah, I'm excited to get this and try it out. All right, next we have a palette. I do already own this. This is the Beauty Killer 2 palette. I mean, it makes sense to put it in here because of the theming of it. Um, the, I don't really care for the color story of the Beauty Killer 2. So, I'll be passing this along. Alright, next, again, with theming, it makes sense it's in here, is the cremated palette. I do already own this, and I have gotten this several times in mystery boxes and have passed it along. So I get the theming. Uh, honestly, I was hoping for a little bit newer palettes in here um, because I have not picked up the last couple releases. Um, like I didn't, I didn't get the Psychedelic Circus or the Gothic Beach. I figured Gothic Beach wouldn't be in here because he's just released it. But I was hoping the Psychedelic Circus one would be in here or maybe another uh, wedding palette because my sister doesn't own it and I was hoping to be able to give it to her, but I didn't get any of those. All right, so let's move on to the next item. So we've got an eye gloss in the shade Voyeurism. It's in the shade Voyeurism. I'm gonna have to cut it open. 
Um, I'm kind of curious why we're, we're getting the eye glasses. Are they not selling? Because they're really not that old of a formula. Or are they drying out quickly? That makes me wonder. Because I know that companies do this to get rid of products. I'm, I'm not an idiot. I understand that that's how this works. That one does not want to come out of the box. Okay, there we go. Alright, so this one looks to be just like a, a basic, like, neutral, goldy brown shimmer. So that's nice for, like, every day. It might be a little darker than it appears, though, but we'll see. Alright, so I don't mind getting these as long as they're not dried out. Alright, next, looks like we're down to the last two items in here. Yes. And one item is a skincare item. This is the Jeffree Star Skin Lavender Lemonade, yeah, Lavender Lemonade Sleep Mist. Um, I do enjoy some of Jeffree's skincare. The only thing I wish is he, is he keeps fragrancing it, and I'm very sensitive to fragrance. For example, I could use um, his original skincare perfectly fine, but the banana fetish one, I tried to use the banana scrub and I had a reaction and I broke out in a rash but again I'm super sensitive to scents so I had to get rid of it and the lip mask and I passed it along so I'm a little a little hesitant to use these type of things especially since they're are fragranced okay now enough of my little rant let's move on to the last item in here and I know this has to be an exclusive to the box we have a exclusive mirror and these are his butcher knife mirrors it's a nice kind of like shimmery well not shimmery kind of like metallic orange color and it's called pumpkin slasher <laughs> one thing I'll give Jeffrey is he's very good at uh, coming up with funny names Okay, let's open this up. These are the type of things that I've always been excited for to get in the boxes, is these exclusive mirrors and things like that, and like the highlighter. So this is what it looks like. It's a nice mirror. Just say hi to yourselves there. <laughs> So yeah, I mean his mirrors are really nice, like you can see your full face in them. They're not super heavy, even though they look like they would be, and they're pretty good quality. Like I've dropped mine several times, and as you guys have seen, Jeffrey throws them around like crazy. Alright, so let's go back over everything that came in this box. So we got the Cool Pumpkin Slayer Mirror. We got a Jeffree Star Skin Lavender Lemonade Sleep Mist. We got the Mini Liquid Lipstick uh, Threesome in Heart Rate, Forbidden Fruit, and Misery. <clears throat> we got a Liquid Shadow in the shade Star Vortex. We got a Velvet Trap in uh, Communion Wine. Another Velvet Trap in Red Affair. An eye gloss in Voyeurism. Two exclusive mini liquid lipsticks in Malicious Kisses and Halloween Nudity. I do wish these were full size. I'm going to reiterate that like I did in the last video. I miss getting the full size liquid lipsticks. The mini ones dry out too quickly. So that's my pet peeve with that. Alright, then we got the cremated eyeshadow palette. We got the Beauty Killer 2 eyeshadow palette. The F Proof Mascara in Periwinkle Sprinkle. We got eight single shadows. Again, no, 
no shade anybody who enjoys them or anything. I just don't like getting these. I have no use for them. I'm someone who likes to have all my shadows in a palette and have this color story already kind of made up for me. And then last, we got this exclusive Skin Frost in Icy Execution, which I like. All right, so let me count up. It's supposed to be 15 items, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. All right, I feel like I'm missing something. Unless these single shadows count for 14 and 15. Because. So we have one, two, three, four, five, unless he's counting them as singles, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, and the mirror is 13. So, yeah, I'm guessing four and four of these is counting as the 15 items. I don't like that. Yep, sorry, don't like that. Um, yeah, um, so I'm going to say I like this box better than the other box because I like the exclusive mirror and the exclusive um, highlighting blush. Uh, I'd like the lipsticks too, but again, I wish they were full size instead of minis. Uh, but yeah, again, it's not worth, to me, it's not worth what I paid for it because I'm not going to keep as much stuff out of it. If you're new to Jeffrey's, uh, brand. If you're new to Jeffrey's brand, then you'll like it because you're going to get a lot of variety of things that you don't have and you're going to get a value with it. But for people like me who have always kind of just bought these boxes for the exclusives, they're, they're not worth it anymore. These are a little bit better than the last time. I'll give them that. But they're still not worth what they need to be. That's, I'm just going to leave that there. All right, let's swatch the mini exclusive liquid lipsticks. I'm going to swatch Spooky Makeover first. All right, that's what that shade looks like. Very pretty shade. And then next, I'm going to swatch Wrong Turn. This looks like might be one of my favorite kind of shades. It's like a dark purple, it looks like, on the sticker. See, I would have loved that in a full size. That's what it looks like right there. That one is wrong turn. Super pretty colors. All right, now let's swatch the two from this box, the bigger box. We've got Halloween Nudity and Malicious Kisses. Let's do Halloween Nudity first. Oh, that's a very light shade. Um, it almost reminds me of doll parts in his regular line, just maybe a little lighter. That's what it looks like right there. Now let's do Malicious Kisses. This looks to be maybe a very dark brown or black. Okay, so it looks like a sparkly black, which we've gotten before. I believe it was like zombie kisses or something like that. Right, so that's what that one looks like. Um, it's kind of sheer compared to the others. 
Uh, it looks a little more pigmented than Zombie Kisses was, because Zombie Kisses kind of, you had to keep like building it up, building it up. Um, I might compare some of the old ones compared to these to see if there's any dupes in there. But yeah, that is the mini liquid lipstick swatches from the mystery boxes. Um, you know what? Let me swatch the highlighting blush to see what it's going to look like. Again, this is Icy Execution. Alright, so I'm going to swatch right here where it's got the pink, or the red, I mean. Okay. I am curious whether this is going to stain the skin. Right, that's what it looks like. So it's very on trend because a lot of people are not doing highlighter. They're just kind of doing glowy blushes. So it makes sense to come out with a highlighting blush. Um, I will say when you swatch it, it does, the red does kind of like spread into the highlighter part. So let me do just the highlighter part so you guys can see what it looks like without the I don't know if you guys can see that because it's kind of like blending into my skin. Let me see if I can swatch it a little bit more. That's what it looks like on the finger. It's very reminiscent of ice cold with a little more champagne-y tone to it. I don't think you guys are going to see it because it's just kind of blending in to give me a sheen, which is what I like. I mean, I like that in a highlighter on my face. Oh, I think we got a little bit there. So that's what it looks like. All right, so I thank you guys for tuning in and watching my channel. If you would, just take a second, like and subscribe down below. I'm really trying to grow my channel. Um, I'm about 10 away from getting to 100, which was my first goal. I'd like to, to get to that before the end of the year, if possible. So you guys would really help me by subscribing. Uh, this is not the only content I do. If you like any type of makeup content, unboxings, tutorials, uh, reviews, I do all of that. And then some. Um, sometimes I throw in vlogs here and there. So, if that interests you, I do more than just Jeffree Star Cosmetics, uh, if you're not a Jeffree Star Cosmetics fan. So, yeah, I'd appreciate it if you would uh, tune in. Alright, guys, so, um, I keep finding myself getting more and more disappointed every time I get Jeffree's Mystery Boxes anymore. I usually end up keeping about a quarter of what I get. I am happier this time than I was last time that I got mystery boxes. Because last time I got mystery boxes, I literally got the majority of what I already had. And his exclusive are just, they're getting less and less appealing. I don't know if he's just not as creative as he used to be with it, or he just, I don't know. It, it just kind of gets too much after a while. But yeah, um, I thought I'd try these again. There are some things I like, like always, but there's quite a lot that I don't. Like, I'm really, really sick and tired of getting these in mystery boxes every single time. And I'm not happy that in the bigger box they counted as two items. Four of them counted as two items, so eight total. So I'm not a fan of that. Um, and again, I'm going to reiterate, the exclusive liquid lipsticks are now in minis. They're not full size anymore, so I'm not a fan of that either. So yeah, that's um, my pet peeve with these boxes. I thank you guys for tuning in. I appreciate you coming and watching and unboxing them with me. If you would like to see more content, whether it's Jeffree Star or just makeup content in general, I'd appreciate it if you'd like and subscribe down below. Really appreciate it. Until next time, guys. Bye.